Uh, what's it like working on Defiance? Um, where to start? Look, we, uh, my average day uh, consists of shooting somebody, which is always an adventure to shoot because, you know, you got gunfire, then you got squibs, then you got, uh, you know, to a degree, stunts. Uh, we, I shot a scene last week out, in, uh, out on a location where in the one scene, it was a three and a half minute scene of dialogue. I, I uh, had to um, stab one person, shoot a couple others, uh, throw somebody somewhere, and it's all in the one scene, so you end up with, uh, yeah, you're acting a scene, doing a couple of stunts, you got live, live fire, and you know, all this other stuff all in the one scene, plus, you know, all of these uh, special things that we have around us, which are very, very detailed because of the design elements of the show. So we're dealing with special effects, and oftentimes that's on green screen. So, you know, you're dealing with special effects, stunts, uh, CGI, and, uh, you know, and, and the acting part of it, all simultaneously. And, and I haven't been a part of anything where, um, where you're coping with all of those different elements at the same time. It's, it's really exciting. It's very demanding of everybody and every department. And, uh, you know, we, we have developed a machine uh, where we're, we've, we've, we've come to communicate with each other in a way that's very, very quick and, and everybody's very much on the ball on this show. It doesn't really get to stand still while you float one thing in or float another thing in. As you can see, there's so much detail that you'd be forever floating things in. So uh, everybody's running all the time and uh, yeah, I'm normally doing a couple of things at once and uh, it's awesome. You know, it's just brilliant. It's kind of, uh, it's really exciting, and, and like I say, it's very, very challenging working on the show. How does uh, being in that backlot immerse yourself into this world of defiance? Backlot's my favorite ever. Um, look, practically in terms of shooting, you know, we get to shoot inside, outside, which I think adds enormous value. You know, it, uh, in terms of the audience, it becomes incredibly immersive to be able to you know, watch a scene being played and also see the town in the background outside while the actors are playing it, takes it away from a studio and, and, and really kind of puts you in the world, which I think is key because we have so much you know, science fiction uh, and so, much kind of, you know, so many fantastical elements to the show, it really grounds it in reality. Uh, I think that's really powerful storytelling wise. The back lot in itself is just beautifully done. It gives us so many different looks for the town. Uh, it's been designed in such a way that the, the streets aren't necessarily straight forever. They, they all curve. There are no kind of 90 degree angles, which means that you, 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 no matter where you look from, you always see another part of town. It always looks like a different part of town. We can get, I think, a couple of dozen different looks out there. Uh, so, you know, it covers quite a bit of defiance. And, and it, as, as an actor, you know, where you get to walk through the town into your office, um, yeah, it's incredibly immersive. Yeah. You have a really nice office. One thing that stood out when I was looking around was uh, Halo Xbox 360 sitting over there in the corner. <laughs> Which is, of course, in, in our world, uh, a relic that no longer functions. Yeah. Goodness knows what, uh, you know, what, what gaming equipment they'd come up with just before the war. But uh, I think the war kind of took it, took it to a new level. And electricity doesn't work anymore, so I can't play Xbox. That's such a big... <laughs> but you can play the Defiance video game. What are your thoughts about how things have been progressing between the video game virtual world and the world here that you've been creating for television? Yeah, we're far enough along now that uh, we're starting to see the two, you know, the, the uh, game concepts come across and be actualized in the show. And we've done it a number of times now. You know, I'm uh, out there today shooting uh, episode six. And this morning I was doing pickups on uh, episodes two and four. Tomorrow I'm shooting episode seven. Don't ask me how all that stays straight. But uh, yeah, what a jigsaw puzzle this show is. Um, but um, we, we, we've done it a few times now. You know, we're, we're getting practiced at integrating the two, at uh, bringing game concepts across. And also we've, uh, we've, we've accomplished a couple of times now seeding elements of the show that are gonna cross back into the game. So it's becoming a reality. And uh, it's interesting, some of the game concepts are incredibly ambitious uh, to shoot 
in a TV show given that you have a very limited number of days of shooting. And again, it comes back to you know very demanding days, uh, very very ambitious uh, you know attempts at uh, at executing them. It's great when you put it in a game because you know it's all uh, fixed and open ended, and, and you know you walk into the world and play it. To shoot it is incredibly ambitious, and uh, you know we're we're getting there. We've 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 done it. Um, yeah, not that I'd have some of those days back again, but uh, we've done it, and I think uh, I think the audience is going to be very happy with them.